This video will show you the main reason why you aren't attracting a relationship and I'm going to share with you perspectives and practical tools that you can apply in order to really make that happen. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all about understanding how to remove blocks when it comes to relationships and how to attract them. And the main reason I was inspired to make this video is because a couple of my coaching clients have been dealing with this and this little advice has made such a big difference. Not just with them feeling better, but one of them actually got results from it simply from doing what I'm about to share with you. So when it comes to attracting a relationship, many times if we have the intention to do so, what we find ends up happening is we are trying to attract a relationship. The word trying implies struggle. It implies a conflict be the, between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. It's something that we actually have to will to happen. But the thing is, is that when it comes to something like this, what we must do is release the resistance and realize we must trust the process. If we're going about things and we're so hard trying to put our ego into it and control the outcome of something, that many times acts as a block itself and even the wording of us trying to do something implies that there's some type of struggle there. So the key to this is knowing that the first relationship we must nurture is our relationship with ourselves. How do we feel about who we are? How do we perceive ourselves? Now, if we look at ourselves and we see ourselves and we're constantly reaffirming that we are single, we are single, there's nobody here, and this reflects back to us that we don't feel whole and complete, then what we do is we continue to perpetuate more of that feeling and with that feeling comes that experience as well. So the key to this is starting to see ourselves in a completely new light. What is our self image? Are we focused on things that we're confident about ourselves? Are we focused on knowing that we are already whole and complete? Because if we're not, then what we're doing is we're searching for something outside of ourselves and we're trying to will ourselves to experience something that can't be forced. This must be about more trusting the process. Are we trusting the process of our life? Are we allowing things to happen or are we trying to fit puzzle pieces in where they're not supposed to go. So the reason I say this is because the key to this is starting to focus on you. It's starting to simply have fun. It's starting to really let go of needing anything on the external to change before we change. Now this sounds like a funny metaphor, but imagine going over to a mirror and asking for the mirror to change, the reflection to change before you change. Now of course that sounds like something we would never really do, but that's a lot of times what we do when we are saying that I will feel whole and complete when this happens. Because what happens is that distance of saying when this happens is a distance in emotion. We aren't feeling it right now in the present moment. So in order to really feel and embody the feeling of being whole and complete now, that comes from one, the simple belief and awareness that you are already whole and complete. That maybe growing up you saw a whole bunch of Disney movies and a whole bunch of movies that showed, you know, happily ever after and meeting the right person and someone miserable before then really happy afterwards. But that's just conditioning. Realize that you can view yourself as right now in this moment already whole and complete. And that with a focus in that direction of that perspective and starting to focus on things that you love about yourself, things that you really appreciate about yourself, maybe it's your characteristics, maybe you have a light personality, you find that you're a very honest person, you're a loyal person, you find that there are certain things about you that really make you special and unique. If you focus on those every day and you feel grateful for those perspectives, you will start to feel differently about yourself. You'll start to really understand your own worth because you are a valuable person. You are somebody that's unique and all you have to do is focus on those perspectives. The more that you focus on those perspectives, the more that you really just have fun in the moment is when it's really gonna happen for you. You will attract a relationship when you don't expect it because you are simply having fun, because you aren't out there looking for anything. That's when things really happen, is things just fall into place 
when you aren't expecting it because you become the hero of your own movie. You aren't looking for somebody else to fit into a certain puzzle piece. You are more so focused on having fun. So what I encourage you to do is to focus more on being around good people, on having fun with friends, on letting go of the outcome, of really trusting the own course of your life and knowing that as you start to trust in your life more, you trust in the course of the way things happen, you will get that reflection in your life. I encourage you to first off change the way that you feel about yourself, to start to embody the emotions you want right here and right now. And even think about it. What we do is we have the emotions within us right now to feel whole and complete, to feel love. But many times what we do is we use people as a symbol. We use people as a way for us to feel those emotions. We give ourselves permission. Now that I'm in this relationship and I'm with this person, I can feel these emotions. In reality, those emotions are within you right now. All you have to do is give permission to your brain, permission to your body to feel those emotions with the awareness that you are whole and complete. It's just that normally we wait for that person to then feel whole and complete. But you could feel it right now. All it takes is the gratitude for the characteristics of who you are. Look at these perspectives every day. Literally write it down, five or 10 things every day that you are grateful for with yourself. Things and perspectives that you have that really embody and encourage yourself to know that you are worthy, that you can feel that within you just from a momentum of focus. Anything that we are focused on, we will feel. And many times we're focused on perspectives of I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. And the momentum of that focus starts making us feel a certain way and we assume that that's who we are. But I have news for you, that is not who you are. That's just a momentum of a certain perspective. You choose your perspective from conscious awareness. Now that you are aware that you can choose what you prefer to believe, you can choose the momentum of your thoughts, start to focus on what you're grateful for. Start to focus on how you are already whole and complete. Start to focus on how you can be at the cause and not the effect. Start to realize you are the hero of your own movie, which means that everyone else is a cameo. That means that you aren't trying to get into someone else's movie. You aren't trying to impose yourself into other people's reality. You are already having fun. You are already grateful for who you are. And as you go out into the world, you will start to get a new reflection because you will be showing up much more powerful. So I encourage you to look at yourself in that way. Start to see yourself as already whole and complete. Let go of all the conditioning from the movies that we watched growing up. Let go of all the conditioning of our parents telling us that maybe you know one day we'll find somebody and we'll be happy. You'll be happy right now just from a simple choice and a simple momentum of thought and knowing that as you change and you start to feel worthy, whole and complete right now, you will get a new reflection. Have the intention that you wanna meet a certain type of person. Have an intention for certain characteristics they have, but also have the intention for feeling whole and complete right now, giving yourself the emotions and the permission in your own mind to feel the way that you prefer to feel. And as you feel the way you prefer to feel, you will eventually get a new reflection in your life. That's where you change before your mirror's reflections change. It's a very powerful understanding. And if you do this every day for just five minutes and you feel grateful for the characteristics for who you are, you will find that things begin to change. So. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you're able to see the daily videos that I do. And also, I put a free PDF inside the description box on the top three advanced law of attraction techniques that have changed my life. So if you'd like to see that, just click the link below. And with that being said, peace, much love, namaste.